Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? Hey, in this particular video, I've got a few emails this last week, and people are saying, you know, look, Dana, I, I want to get audio from my computer into the mixer. Uh, it could be from Spotify. It could be a video off the Internet. It could be a CD player in your computer. And they don't want to have to run these long external cables. You know, normally you would come out with the eighth inch jack from the computer and then you would go into your auxiliary inputs well there's a real simple way to do this and there's just a few steps that you have to follow so the first thing we're going to do is come up into routing now here i've got uh, my two s16s connected and right here on this aux and remap this is where it normally sets and we're going to take this down here and we're going to say card one and two that's it that's all we have to do, okay? Now I've got some audio set up in my media player, and this is it right here. So what I'm going to do now is I've got to tell my speakers that they're going to output to card one and two in Behringer. And all we do is come right over here to our speaker icon, and we're gonna click this little up arrow. Now, right now, as it normally sets, my speakers would be coming out of my headphone jack on my computer. But when we click on this, we can now see because we've got the Behringer connected. And this is the same for the uh, M32s as well. You see, we have all these different options that are going to be outputting from my laptop computer into Behringer. So I'm simply going to pick out one and two X Live card. Now here I want to set my volume around 80% because we're going from one device to another. This is true gain staging. Okay, so now when we pull up X32 edit, this is plain. We're going to see signal over here on our auxiliary one and two and there it is. It's that simple. Now, by clicking on this, I do have them linked together. It's a real simple process. And if I'm going to do it and leave the auxiliary inputs as my input source, then I want it to come out of the main left and right here. And that's why this is clicked. Okay, this is why this is highlighted. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because a lot of people will want this to come in through a regular channel. Okay. So what we're going to do now is if we're going to bring this into a channel, we're going to take this auxiliary outputs out of the mains. We're going to come over to our channels and we can start right here on channel 21. Now, remember, when we link these channels or mix buses, you can only link evens to odds. OK, so you have to start with an odd number. So if I come up here and I say, OK, I'm going to link this uh, 21 and 22 together. And then I can just simply name it PC, uh, PC left, PC right, you know, however you guys want to do it. And uh, let's just give it this color right here. So now we've got our PC left and our PC right. So at this point, I'm simply going to highlight channel 21. I'm going to come over to config. And instead of pulling this from my AES 50 port A, I'm simply going to come down here and pull it from my auxiliary in card 01 and card 02. So there's my aux ins one and two. And that's why we took these out of the mains because we don't want to double that signal. So here we go. Now we got our PC left and our PC right when we bring this up to Unity. And we now bring that signal in. This is what we get. Okay. So as you've noticed, once we designate this as a card input, we no longer have gain over here. We have trim. And we are sitting here at 0 dB. So we've got 18 dB. So we can go up or down. 
to get this around our negative 18 input that we always strive for. So, I mean, right off the bat, that's pretty close. But if I wanted to be technical so I don't get a bunch of emails, right there is probably going to keep it to where when it starts coming in at the loudest point, it's going to be up there around that negative 18 dBs. Okay? And that's it, guys. It's done. Like I said, you can come in from Spotify, uh, your AirDrop music, anything that's on your computer without having to run an external cable. You can do all of this through your USB port. Okay? I hope you got something from it. Have a wonderful new year. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.